morning, morning Jaguars. Jaguars. I'm Parker. And I'm William. And this is your AMS, AMS News for October 20th, 2021. Attention students, if you plan to attend any after school sporting events, you need to follow these guidelines. If the sporting event is in the gym, you need to be wearing a mask. Food and beverages are also not allowed in the gym. You must also stay in the gym. Students are not allowed to hang out in the lobby or anywhere else outdoors on campus. If the event is outdoors, you need to be at the game and not roaming the campus, riding bikes, or skateboarding. You can't be on campus until the games start. On Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, all games start at 4.30. The earliest you can arrive on campus is at 4.15. On Wednesdays, games start at 3.30. The earliest you can be on campus is at 3.15. Please be respect, respectful, responsible on campus for after school events. All school rules apply when you are on campus before or after school. Go Jaguars! The PBIS store will be open this Friday, October 22nd during lunches. Remember to bring your tickets. Attention all 6th, 7th, and 8th grade girls interested in trying out for a Prendace cheer team. Tryouts will be held next week, Monday, October 25th through Thursday, October 28th, after school. Please visit the Apprende Athletics page for more information on registration for tryouts. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Defoe in the office or Coach Shelton in room 103. The book fair is back. Well, sort of. The book fair this year is going to be virtual. Have your parents head to phoenixbookcompany.com to score some great deals on books and help support the school. If you don't remember the URL, there are flyers. Kirsten Clock is always very respectful of her classmates. Keegan was spotted holding a door for a teacher that was carrying a ladder. Lucy Corcoran stood up for another student and made her day. Maylee Housteen was caught helping a kid who fallen. Josh Shepard collected all the sports balls when no one else would. Easton Anderson was giving her friends Hershey's kisses during lunch. Today is Where You Want to Go Wednesday. Here's a little information about a great college put together by the JAG TV class. The University of MIT has been the number one university in the world multiple times. It was founded on April 10, 1861, Cambridge, Massachusetts. It excels for its majors being computer science, mechanical engineering, mathematics, physics, and electrical engineering. The acceptance rate of MIT is 6.7% and the graduation rate is 92.7%, with the colors being black and steel gray. The required GPA to get into MIT is 3.5 and the tuition to get in is $53,790. There are 33 varsity sports at MIT, 16 for men and 15 for women with the mascot being Tim the Beaver. This is a good college to go to. Well, that's not quite it for today, Jaguars. The PTSO has an important announcement about this year's fundraising event, Apprende Rocks. Hi, I'm Zachary Reisinger, and this is my friend Callie. You might know her from some great shows like Jane the Virgin, General Hospital, and maybe even Sydney to the Max. Hi, I'm Kelly Capo, and this is Zachary. You may know him from some amazing shows like Grey's Anatomy, NCIS, and Arrested Development. So, maybe a time or two we've gotten to rock a red carpet in the Hollywood premieres. And, well, now we're here to talk to you at Apprende Middle School. But, we're here to talk about you and how you rock or are about to, at your Rocktober. Nice, I see you all rocking out your Spirit Week theme. Well done. I'm joining you in spirit too, with my crazy socks. <laughs> Even though this is the easiest fundraiser that you'll ever do, there's still a couple things that we need to cover, and most importantly, all the prizes you can win. Oh my gosh, do they know like how super easy this is and all the super cool prizes they can win? I don't think so, but that's what you're here. Right. All you have to do 
do is ask your family and friends to donate $10 or more to your school. Um, I think there's still a little bit more to it. Right. Well, $10 is the minimum we need for you to get a raffle ticket for some sweet prizes, but we really need you to get as much as you possibly can. So, for every $10 you get donated on your behalf, you will get one raffle ticket! <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up, Rachasio. I think you're missing a very crucial point here. Right! Again, I should tell you about how every friend and family member who donates $10 or more also gets a raffle ticket! You get a raffle ticket, and 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 you five get a raffle ticket, and... Wait, but you already gave him a raffle ticket. Well, he donated another ten dollars, so he gets another raffle ticket. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, so you're telling me that every ten dollars that a student gets donated, that student will receive a ticket, and the person who donated those ten dollars will receive a ticket. Correct. Oh, so wait, let's say I give, hold on, I think I see Xander's down there. Hey Xander, how you doing, man? Uh, so cool. I wish I could give you a fist bump right now, but you're all the way down there and I'm up here. Anyways, so let's say I give Xander this $100. I would receive 10 tickets and so would Xander, right? Yes, but where did that come from? Mm, I have a bank account, don't you? Of course I do. Put that away. Okay, I think they have that part down. But let's get to the most important stuff before they have to go back to class. The prizes! I know, pretty cool, huh? Oh man, these are friend day middle school teachers and staff and PTSO were so cool. So, so cool. Shout the prize to Oh my goodness, it's C-R-A-Z-Y. Crazy. They have the chance to win things like small prizes, really cool stickers for their water bottles, full-size candy bars, pop sockets, and $5 Dutch Bro gift cards. Oh, medium prizes, uh, like a Prende swag, t-shirts or sweatshirts, even a mini fridge for your own room at home. And the grand prize includes things like an iPad mini, a gaming chair, or a Nintendo Switch. Let's not forget about the experience prizes, like making one of their teachers do something hilarious. What? Yep, I hear there are rumors that you could win things like having the highest fundraiser's name out on the marquee outside, or winning a lunch with Miss Corey and five other friends. Oh yeah, we are probably talking about this one too. You know the really cool prize they can drop their ticket in to try to win? Four orchestra pit tickets to Black Violence Impossible Tour at the Mesa Art Center. You wanna know what the kicker is to that top prize? What? The winner and their family gets to be accompanied by Mr. Weisberg. <laughs> we should probably tell them about some of the adult prizes so that there's more hype on donating with their friends and family. So what are the adult prizes, Cal? Well, small to medium prizes include gift cards to local restaurants, family games prize pack, a friend day gear like t-shirts or sweatshirts, one basket, remember these are the adult prizes, and a golf basket including a golf club and or foursome. Grand prizes like guided kayak river trip on Verde River for 10 or a night stay at a local hotel. Alright, let's wrap it up and get these rock stars back to class. That was weird. That was weird. Anyways, Apprende Rocks will, will kick off today, October 20th, and a flyer will be sent home to all your families with all the information that they need. Oh, they also need to know that 100% of the money, not 95, not 99, 100%, the money collected will stay with the school, which is super cool. All they have to do is follow the instructions on the flyer, being sent home, and get going asking for their $10 or more donations. Sorry, friends, but with all that great news, uh, there also has to be some bad news. Y'all gotta get back to class.
We can't wait to see how much money you raise for your school. We're waiting to hear all about it. Until then, just keep being the rock stars that you are. No, he's weird. You. You're in it now, though. You're still weird. Hey Jags, this fall the Jag players will be hosting a play called How to Host a Murder Mystery Dinner Party in 15 Simple Steps. The play will be held with one performance on the 22nd, two performances on the 23rd, and one performance on the 24th. All of the performances will be located in the NPR. Ticket prices will range from $4 for students or teachers, $7 for general admission, and $20 for VIP. Here's a little sneak peek from the play. So, what is the play going to be about this year? So, our play is a murder mystery play. Ooh. <laughs> and it's really exciting. It's very, very silly. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Clue, it's similar to that, where we come to host a murder mystery dinner party, but then something goes wrong. And what's, dun, dun, dun. and what's fun about it is that there are four different performances with four different murders and four different endings. Ooh, that's exciting. Now, I have to ask, how is it like having two casts for the very first time? Well, we actually have two casts and two crews because we wanted to give more people the opportunity to participate. Um, and it's really fun from my point of view because we have actors playing the same role, but they play it really, really differently so the audience can see how um, actors interpret the same character in different ways. For the crew? For the crew, uh, we're actually just being able to have more people be a part of it which is really great for us because we get to train lots of people all at once and hopefully they'll choose to continue on. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching Jaguars and make sure to attend this year's fall play. All right, Jag, have a great rest of your week. Remember, Apprende equals P plus 2R. Pride, Pride respect, respect, and responsibility. responsibility.